Welcome to Round 5 of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of November 28th. I'm Terry Morrow, and I'm here with Catherine Haleko. Hello. And Nicole Eridix. Hi there. Today, we're taking a break from talking and complaining and obsessing and instead shouting out things other people are doing that we think you'll find as useful or enjoyable as we do. We call this our Roundabout Roundup. And once again, uh, for today, I bring you... Terry's Walker Hayes Minute. <laughs> um, I haven't, I've been talking about other musicians for a while. I haven't talked about Walker in a while. And he just put out a song called Face in the Crowd that is so lovely and so sweet. And I want everybody to go listen to it immediately after you, and I mean, listen to the rest of our podcast. But after that, go to your music source and look this thing up. Or actually, even better still, go to YouTube and watch the video. It's basically a tribute to his wife. And it's very sweet. It's talking about, uh, you know, as I've mentioned before, he was somebody who was, was um, you know, in not quite obscurity, laboring in obscurity, but la- laboring in not famousness for a long time. And then he had this crazy hit with the song Fancy Like. And suddenly he was going to the Grammys, he's going to the CMAs, uh, you know, he's on TV shows, everybody wants him. And, you know, it's, I'd always thought how surreal that must be. Mm. Uh, and he's touring, we bring in his, he can afford now to bring his kids along on tour with him and his wife and the kids are getting involved on stage doing things. And it's very sweet. And this song is just about, hey, this is crazy and it's going to end eventually. But the only, you know, all I ever cared about was seeing your face in the crowd to his wife. And, you know, the, the hit songs are nothing compared to the children that they have. And it's it's really nice for, the, I mean, it's a pretty song. It's a lovely message. And it's also a chance to watch a video where the love interest is a lady with teenage children as opposed to a teenage child. So, <laughs> um, you know, check it out. It, it, I, I really, really like the video. But you can mm-hmm. also find the song to play then again and again over and over on Apple Music or wherever you get your music. Nicole, what do you have this week? Well, I have hit a point in my career where I am like, if I was at a school site, I would be like the old teacher with (laughs) (laughs) the cardigan and the wheeling cart. Yes. (laughs) I, I bought myself a, it's actually not a cart, it's a crate. And it has wheels and a handle. And oh my gosh, it's making a big difference in my life. And I've only had it for a day. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm super excited to use it for my job because I go from school to school. And I have to bring a lot of materials with me. And I'm used to just putting them in a bag and carrying them on my shoulder. But now that I'm old and wear a cardigan... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I, I need something for my yeah something to something better that is more uh makes life easier so i bought this sturdy rolling cart from amazon the link is going to be provided i highly suggest because you can like put the handle down and just pick it up like you would a crate like a plastic crate uh-huh. box type thing like a milk crate you know like yeah you know, those mm-hmm. yeah and it's open at the top and it does have a lid. You can put it on. You can sit on it if you want. According to the photos on Amazon, you can Ooh. sit on it. Oh. And it um, very convenient. Super convenient because you can put a whole bunch of stuff in it and then you just like to lift the handle and walk away. You don't have to carry it, oh. which is so nice. So that's my nice. So it's the teacher shadow. version of the backpack on wheels. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So that's my shout out. Cool. What do you have, Catherine? It's Catherine's Instagram minute. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to just keep using that. Um, So Instagram served this up to me. Um, Someone called Big Time Adulting (laughs) on Instagram. And she's a mom of three pretty young kids, like, you know, I think probably all like 10 and under. Um, But she's just, she posts funny little videos. And um, she also, her sort of little catchphrases at the end of the, the video, she'll say, so get yourself a snack and have a good day. 
And a lot of the videos are about just like, you know, if something is not working or if, you know, you don't feel like you're living up to what other people are doing, you know, here's, here's why that's, that's baloney and you're doing great. (laughs) That kind of thing. (laughs) Like very reassuring. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like I just watched one where she was, she was talking about this plant that she has and she's like, it's. It's dead. It looks terrible. It makes me feel bad. I'm throwing it away and I'm getting a fake one, (laughs) you know? And if you have a plant in your life that's making you feel bad, then this is me telling you to get rid of it. (laughs) So it's, it's material like that. So I I appreciate it. it. Nice. Mm -hmm. So big time adulting on Instagram. And that is it for another week of Parenting Roundabout. If you missed any of our earlier episodes this week, look them up on Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you get your podcasts to hear what we have to say about meaningful conversations, playdate documentation, and influencers. You can also find all our episodes at parentingroundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. And please visit our Amazon shop at amazon.com slash shop slash momitude, where you can find links to a lot of the things we talk about. Amazon thinks we're influencers, you guys. Go buy stuff. Come and buy something. (laughs) Or all you have to do is go to the... We're lying. Start in our shop and then go to wherever else you need to go. (laughs) Buy whatever the heck you want. We don't care. (laughs) Then we'll look like influencers. (sighs) So, but we'll be back on Monday. So have a great weekend. We will see you then.